Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mommy's List. I was recording this on my camera, but for some reason, it doesn't want to read my card. I don't know. Okay, well, this is going to be my 2015 Things I Hauled and Loved type video. Um, This is things that I got at the course of 2015 makeup and face-wise and body-wise throughout the year and this is things that I have fallen in love with and I use on a daily basis. Okay? Okay. I will figure out a title for it. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the body stuff. I did record this and I had to like push everything back because I don't know what's going on with these cards. It, my camera doesn't want to read them. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Oahu Bath and Body Works um, Coconut Shell Crushed Coconut <laughs> Crushed Coconut body wash um i have a felon in love with these i have all of them from the collection this was months this one was my favorite scent i can't talk right now so this reminded me of hawaii so much i went with my husband for a trip and it was a beautiful but um this was my favorite scent and they're all like almost done because I love them all so much and I have every single one and I do have an extra one of this so if you find them especially now that they're having their 75% annual um, semi-annual sale if you find this grab it because it's so good next thing um, the next thing is a face thing and this is the I'm real Tony Moly one I know I just did the mask and chats for this and I just used it yesterday but this is a big thing. Oh my god. My face, I don't know if you can tell. I was trying to show you on my camera. But my pores, like especially on my nose and right here where they're overlarged. And they tend to, it, my foundation tends to get really cakey right there. Um, yeah. I put this on. This is definitely like a nighttime mask like I was saying in my mask of chats because it has a lot of serum. So I would recommend you do it at night while you're like looking on Facebook or watching your TV show or something and then just rub it in before you go to bed and go to sleep because it takes a very long time for it to seep into your skin and into your pores. But the end result, my face was so soft this morning and it was just like, oh. And it was glowing while it was, like, I took it off and showed you guys. And it was just, like, just, ooh, it was just, like, plumped and everything. My under eye didn't seem as dark as it was before I tried it. Two thumbs up. I hope the other one's just as good. Okay, so going quickly. Um, this is a Natural Tech Repumping Care Filler Super Active Repumping Repumping and compacting fluid for all hair types. I'm blind as bad, so I can't read it. <laughs> so this spray I got with the birch box, and it, it has nothing in it. It smells so good, though. And it's a florally scent, but it's not a grandma overpowering floral scent. But this does give you volume. My hair lays flat all the time against my head. Um, even when I straighten it, it tends to be really flat against my head and my face and I spray this before I would flat iron it or anything like that and it would give me that little extra boost of volume to where it looked a little bit more full yes I will try to find that and repurchase it the next thing is a hair thing and this is the beauty protector protect and oil I got this in a birch box and it's a small sample but it lasted me a very long time and this is the hair oil that I would put in my hair my hair is naturally shiny, but right after I would take a shower, I would put this in it. And if I did my hair or anything like that, it would keep the nice shine without weighing my hair down. Which I really like because a lot of hair serums and hair oils, they weigh your hair down. And I didn't like that at all. And I love this. And it smells delicious too. But it's broken. So that's why it's got tape. It's got pieces of glass. You see that glass? Yeah. It broke. It got glass in it. So I can't use... Like the little droplets left in it. <laughs> um, I think that's all for face and body and things other than makeup wise stuff. So let me kind of organize it a little bit. Lips, eyes, all that good stuff. Okay. 
So I'm going to start off with this little boy. I'm going to call it a boy because I don't know for me. It doesn't look like a girl. It looks like a boy. But okay, this bad boy right here. Um, this is a Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. There it is. These are beautiful shades. I use this on a daily basis. Um, this is like my go-to palette right now. <laughs> and this is the one that I pick like everything out of. Um, my favorite shades have to be the Strapless and the Honey Butter, which are these two shades right here. We have this nice, like, chocolatey red shade, and then this light creamy type of tan shade. This one's strapless, and this is honey butter. And, I mean, I love them. It's just, these are, like, my go-to bases. Like, if I want to do a base, this is what I do. It's not what's on my eyes, though, but I, I do love that. Um... I'm going to Tarte, and Tarte, I like their Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. <laughs> and I like this. It smells really good. If you can get a sample of this, I would recommend that you get a sample of it. This one I got with my little kit set, and I love it. That's a really, really good primer for your face. And then this is their Amazonian Clay Blush in Timeless. I got this also in my kit. And it's this really nice pinky peach shade. See how pretty that comes out? It comes out so light and so just... Ugh. I ought to punch somebody. But, but it's just really nice colored blush. Um, I do like the formulation of their blushes. They're really blendable, but yet they stay on, which is good. And I really like the shade. Um, they have a slight minty scent to them, I, from what I get. That's what I smell. Um, then I got this with the set, and then I got this at a, at a, blah, 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 as a freebie <laughs> um, with purchase of any tart of $30 or more or something like that. You got this in a lippy. So this is the Tarte um, Lash Primer in Opening Act. And then this is the Tarte Light Camera Flashes um, Statement Mascara. And this is the one that has like, the, it looks like an X if you can see it. It's like one small, one long, one small, one long. That's what it looks like. See if you can kind of see it in my head. Yeah. But I have been loving this combo. It makes the primer is what kind of just does it. And because it does give me length, but then I get super volume from this mascara. I don't know. Just the combo together has been just like, yes, thank you. And I have been loving, loving, loving that. Um Next is my e.l.f. Lip Scrub. Um, it does come and it looks like a, a lipstick, but mine broke so I had to put it in this little jar. I got these jars from Target, so they're great for putting anything. But this for moisturizing your lips um, and exfoliating them before you put on a liquid lipstick is great. I love it. Um, it's only like, what, $3 or something like that, two, two something. So yeah, this is a really good one and it's cheap. Another e.l.f. product is my cream eyeliner. I know, I have a Sephora one. I have the Morphe one that I got from my, um, the giveaway one from Makeup by Shea. And this one is the one I just keep going back to. I occasionally go to those, but this is the one that I find myself using the most. Um, it's super creamy, but once it dries, it stays. It stays put. It doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's there. So, yeah, I'm in love with that. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me foundation is one of my favorite foundations so far that I have tried. I have, what, three, four foundations, and I have some samples of different brands. But this one is the one that I like. This is in 130. I think this shade might be a little too dark for me right now because I got this during the summertime, and... I haven't been seeing as much sunlight, so I'm a, 
like a little tanner now on the face than I normally am. But I do love this foundation. It's one of the best foundations I have tried so far. Um, next thing is, of course, the Beauty Blender. Um, I didn't want to shell out 20 bucks for a Beauty Blender. I just used this because I did this makeup tutorial. And um, I didn't want to buy a Beauty Blender. So I bought the Double Pack. And I got two in the double pack, and it was a little bit discounted. So I got that instead. And they happened to ship me out two of them instead of just one of the double packs. So I have three extra beauty blenders. So I was blessed and got an extra. And I called them, and they're like, well, well, it doesn't say anything on here that we shipped you out too. So it was like half of my order was with one set and then the other half was with another set and they were like maybe we don't know just go ahead and keep it so I was like okay yay so yeah that was good the next thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about these okay the NYX intense butter glosses I have on my lips is chocolate crepe right now which is this one and this is like a reddish brown shade and it's just, mm, I love it and they smell these smell so good these smell like cake they smell like cake with frosting and everything on them mm. my favorite one that I got was Tre Leche and it's a beautiful pinky nude and then this one which is the chocolate which I just got but I love the color it's so pretty so yeah, I love those. The NYX Intense Butter Glosses. Yes. So yeah, I love those. Um, and then the next thing is all ColourPop. <laughs> so if you don't know what ColourPop is, you might as well YouTube a few videos on ColourPop. ColourPop is just amazing. I have to cough. Oh, I had a cough, sorry. I got a drink. But, um, ColourPop, this is the Kathleen Lights Where the Light Is. She just recently came out with Where the Night Is, which is, like, these super cool metallics. Um, these are some of the shades that are in her palette. Um, I have more eyeshadows from them. This is Coconut. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. So these are like cream to powder eyeshadows, but they're so moussey. Like it feels like a cloud when you put your finger in it. And this, once it dries, it won't go anywhere. It won't go anywhere. You don't, I don't use a primer with them because they just stay there. They won't go anywhere. I have quite a few of them. Um, I have the ColourPop highlighters as well. And this is Smoke and Whistles. Let's just do a quick swatch. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This one is in Lunch Money. And Smoke and Whistles is their pink shade. And Lunch Money has like a little bit of a gold shade to it. I'm going to swatch it in between the blush and the See? See how this is more of a whitish pink. And then this is more of a goldish champagne shade. Oh yeah, that's what I have now is the ColourPop High highlighter on. And I love it. It gives a subtle glow, but if you want to impact, like, just pack it on, just go ahead and go ham. That's what I have on the inner corners. I put a little bit of this on, if you watch the tutorial later, this 
I put just a little bit of that in there as well in the crease. And then I have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. These have Thank you. I have tried some different brands and some different types. These are the ones that I like the most. These are so affordable. These are $6 a piece. And these are some of my favorite shades. This one is Bumble, I believe. Yes, Bumble. And this is the one that I like been wearing a lot. This is a nice, deep red, like brick red color. It's got more of a, my nose it just more of a tannish shade. Um, the next one I'm going to swatch is Beeper next to it, which is definitely more of a chocolate milk type shade. That's what I could best describe it. And then this one is Solo, which is the, the pink shade that I've been loving between the ones that I've bought. I would buy all of them, but... My husband would probably kill me. <laughs> so there's Beeper. I mean, there's Beeper. There's Bumble, which is that brick red. And then there's Solo, which is that nice pink shade. And I have been living. I mean, living. And I love this quad. The base shade, which is Glow. Let me just take them out real quick. This base shade, which is Glow, is a great all-over lid shade as a base, like a primer, if you want to put this on. I put this on, and I can't see any of my veins or anything like that. I can't see any of the redness in my eye, nothing. This is a great shade. And it's a good shade for, I would figure, everybody. Cornelius is definitely a great shade for everybody. This is a nice sandy brown shade. And this is a matte but it's so pretty, like, in the crease. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then the other two are her, um, fix it. Um, so yeah, the next ones were, their Super Shock Shadows, Blaze, and Kathleen Lights. And these, this one's a metallic, and this one is pearlized. So Kathleen Lights is a pearlized color, but it's this beautiful gold shimmery shade. And then... Blazed is this beautiful, uh, like bronzy shade, I would say. It looks like a bronze. It's brown with gold um, glitter in it, and I mean, yeah, it's spinning around. Look how pretty that is. It's just, see how it's brown with gold in it? And they're just so pigmented and so colorful. But I mean, once you put them on and they dry, they are dry and they stay put. You can rub your eye, all that. It's not going to move. I mean, at least when I do it, it doesn't move. And I rub my eyes a lot. But yes, this is the little quad. She just came out with another one. And I want it. <laughs> I want it so bad. But these are such a great quality eyeshadows. And each of their eyeshadows sell for $5. So they're really cheap for an eyeshadow. Unless you go like to like the drugstore and get like one on sale. You're not going to get them that cheap. But yes. And then their blushes, bronzers, and their highlights. Which I love their highlights. Their highlights are $6 as well as the lippies. And yeah. And then another thing that I've been loving, because I've been wearing it like all day yesterday and all this morning before I put this on, is this CoverGirl, um, I don't know what it's called. They're the O Sugar CoverGirl by Taffy, and I got this yesterday, and I've been wearing it all yesterday and all day this morning today, and it's super moisturizing. It's a Shea Vitamin Infused Balm. I thought it had shea butter in it, but vitamin infused balm, and it's really moisturizing on the lips. I'm not just saying that because I, I like this a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, it's more like a lip gloss balm type thing that's tinted than a lipstick. 
I wouldn't technically consider this a lipstick. But yes, I've been loving this. I have been trying out their mascara. And I like it. It's a little tricky to work with um, due to the really flat bristles that it has in the spiral. But hey, I have it on right now and look. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see it? <laughs> You're probably like looking up my notes. <gasps> But yeah, those are the things that I have been living, living, living this year that I have received or gotten this year that I hadn't had before type thing. I don't know what to call this video. But yeah, those are the things that I have been loving and if you haven't grabbed them already, I'm telling you right now to go and get it and try it because I'm pretty sure you'll love it. Especially, look, they're already dry. They're dry. They're matte. Look. I have eyeshadow on it. That one's still a little wet, but pinky's clean. Look, I'm just I can see it was just a little bit wet. Look, I got some of the highlighter on because it's still wet. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Look, I'm wiping. <laughs> it's going to take a lot to get, <laughs> to get this stuff off. I'm like, I'm, I'm scrubbing hard. Look, I'm scrubbing it really hard. My hand's turning red. <laughs> but yeah, um, please like, comment, and subscribe um, if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in in my next video, the New Year's, whatever it may be. Um, see, it's still... I'm, I'm scrubbing. <laughs> I'm like legit scrubbing. It hurts for me to scrub it and it's still, it's still right there. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what your favorites were for 2015, okay? If I can 